Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope that you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what is going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what do you need to know. So whenever you do see this will be the right time. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, and... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram, I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. All right, Capricorn, you're going to meet somebody while traveling. I'm seeing that it's a faded meeting. This person is being sent to you for you to heal and to look at yourself differently. I'm seeing that you've been through a lot. I'm seeing that you've been in a situation that I'm seeing toxic relationship that you have with someone that you looked at as, as a challenge and this is going to be ending this toxicity this um negativity it is going away i'm seeing that this person that's coming into your life is meant to help you meant to support you wheel of fortune destined to come into your life this is destiny good luck this person's going to bring you a lot of good luck into your life and they are going to trigger um, healing within you because you've been through a lot of um, turbulence trauma peaks and valleys because of that this person is coming in to support you and I see that you've been manifesting you've been manifesting your happiness manifesting um, your abundance in, in emotions celebrations you've been doing whatever it takes to manifest changes, to change the circumstances in your life. And Spirit has heard you. Spirit has heard your prayers. Um, and the star, wish fulfillment. It's coming to you in a person. This, this, this wish or this prayer is coming to you in a person. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands reverse. So you've been walking on eggshells with someone and um your stress your your tiredness it is going away it's going to be taken from you i see you moving into an energy of healing resting being at peace within a few months divine intervention this is the divine this is god coming into your life in order to in order to um be a catalyst for your healing we have intimacy so you are this is also going to bring you closer to this person who you are having a faded meeting with i'm seeing intimate conversations getting closer vulnerable with each other you may be observing someone watching someone but you're i'm seeing a very strong magnetic attraction uh, between you and and this person here this struggle that you've been in it's coming to an end the worst is coming to an end but first you need to release yourself from that attachment i'm seeing six of swords so you may have had a, a hard time moving on or it felt like you could never move on from someone maybe this person constantly popped up in your mind or even through readings you know um but it, it's because you still have to detach yourself moving on and you still have to heal. So there is healing happening so that this energy can can move past you. And I see you finding the willpower to do that, to move on and to flourish. And this is a big achievement. This healing is a big achievement for you. You're achieving a lot. I see that there's this person who has been holding themselves back and trying to overcome an obstacle in order to to come and, and be with you, to see you. 
This, this is somebody who has a lot of uh, self-control. This is somebody... I'm seeing something about this person being in the public eye. Or they're just somebody who... Like, people see them as having accomplished a lot in their life as well. Very powerful person. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Whoever this person is, they're content and happy with their life. And they love themselves. They, they're very traditional. And I see this person wanting to make things right for you or wanting to teach you something. Wanting to give you some sort of advice. Help you in a way. And this, this move that I see you making is very thought out. No longer giving someone a chance. No longer repeating a, a toxic cycle or an on and off pattern that you've had with someone. So Spirit is trying to bring to your attention about this toxic relationship in your life. And this, this person is going to come into your life to also bring this to light for you so that you can see the light. Um, because you may have been focused on a completely different thing. But this is all going to change. So let's take a look at this person around you. Wheel of Fortune. Um, they're going to look at this situation like like things are, are changing. And they're going to... I'm seeing that they're also going to look at you as changing as well. Also changes within a home surrounding this person. I see this person coming towards you the right way. So they're going to move towards you slowly. But they're going to be very consistent with you. And they're going to put a lot of time and attention and effort to you. I'm seeing that they're going to... The way that they're looking at you right now with the full reverse is like you still haven't freed yourself from your past. Or you haven't taken a risk or a leap of faith yet towards um, your your new beginning. So they see that they're viewing you as hiding some things from them. When it comes to finances. But they look at you in a very uh, positive light. So... They see you as a king of wands. They see you as somebody who is very, very powerful, even if you don't see it in yourself. They see this in you, and they want to come towards you the right way. They want to approach you the right way. This person is also making some sort of judgment about themselves. About how they're feeling. Reviewing their feelings, reviewing what they want. This person's going to open up to you. They're going to show you a lot of love and attention. A lot of affection. Emotional availability. And emotional maturity. So this person is coming towards you very, very, very emotionally mature. Like, this person, they're coming towards you as a knight, as a knight or a king. Knight of Pentacles, this is them coming towards you the right way and them coming towards you emotionally mature and available for you to be there for you to show you love or to show you what love really is. So, wow. This person is coming into your life to show you what love really is and to show you your worth. This person doesn't understand how you don't see... The power in yourself like they see it in you. You'll know who this person is because there's going to be some sort of change in their home. And also I was picking up on travel. So meeting through travel. You two are mirroring each other. And also I see this person doing a lot of reflecting. They're waiting so they're waiting for the right time to uh, approach you. So they see you as healing or they see you as still kind of dealing with somebody or in some sort of attachment. 
So they're waiting for the right time to come into your life. So they feel like there's you're still in the middle of something here, but they want to date you. I'm seeing I'm seeing runner. Tell me about this runner rejection. So they're waiting for the right time because they feel that if they were to come towards you now, you would just end up rejecting them, but they want to run towards you. Because they see you as someone who's very, very valuable. And you're going to figure that out while you're healing. You're going to have this new perspective on your self-worth. Self-love. That Queen of Cups there. Loving yourself and loving everything about yourself. I'm seeing you focusing more on your work. I see you working away hustling, doing your own thing in this healing journey. I'm seeing six of swords reversed again. So spirit is really asking you to release yourself from any attachments so that you can step into your empress. This um, empress is all of the queens combined. So that you can step into this abundant and prosperous energy of yourself and abundant sense of self-worth for yourself as well by releasing attachments, cutting off a toxic relationship that is just not really working for you. You're going to be very happy and very content that on the fact that you are healing and you chose to heal and that you are no longer putting yourself in a situation where you feel like you need to walk on eggshells around someone. And this is something that you have manifested. It's something that you have prayed for. Um, you're going to get some invitation. This person's going to come towards you that was put in your life to show you how to love yourself as well. I'm seeing you, you have an invitation coming in here. But you're no longer going to give this other person a second chance. You're no longer going to keep giving chances to people because you once you heal, you're just going to be annoyed of the people that aren't healed themselves. So anybody who comes towards you unhealed, it, it, you just naturally will reject them. It's just going to annoy you because you're going to see things from a different light. You're going to see that they haven't done their healing because you're going to be different. And so you require a different person naturally. I'm seeing the numbers 10, 9, 8. So this is all a progression towards completion of toxicity. I'm seeing the number or the letter F, M, H, S, W, T, R. So those numbers are letters they may resonate. But with that being said, this is what I'm picking up. If it did resonate, let me know. And if you did make it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have an amazing and blessed day. Bye.